We're back. We're back. I'm back. I'm back. We're back, but I'm back. <laughs> Guys, welcome back in for episode number six of the Outer Wilds. We are picking back up with Operation Black Hole Forge. Okay, it's going to happen today. It's happening. Don't look at me like that. It's really going to happen. I know last episode I thought it was going to happen, but this time I really mean it's going to happen. Uh, that's really pretty much it. I don't think there's too much to do an intro for. Um, other than that, we're still finishing the twins. Like we're still fully exploring the twins and we've got ghost matter everywhere and we need to figure out how to get rid of it. Number one, I think I need to do is get into the high energy lab. I think that that might possibly yield some kind of result or or something that will help us with the ghost matter so if we can do that then we can start freely exploring all of the planets and moons in their entirety and including our little flying interloper that we need to get inside of so yeah operation black hole forge and high energy lab go so we have to run all the way to brittle hollow first pull up the forge then we have to hightail it over to twin and then that's how we're going to get there and actually be able to explore the forge. So it's a little bit of a swoop and a swap, but we got this. Ooh. To Brittle Hollow. And as we speak, the sand should start transferring from those two planets. Or maybe I need to activate it first. So let me get close to them. And maybe if I land on one. Yeah, let's try landing on one and getting it to happen. I don't know if it happens automatically. I guess we could get closer and just see. Oh, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Match velocity. Is it happening? No, it's not. It's not happening yet. So I'm going to go over to this. Whoa. Or I think even if we just land on. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. shoot, 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 shoot. Hold on. Matching velocity. OK, let's try to just land to initiate. That's, yeah, that's smacking me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let me land straight by their ship. Yeah, I thought it would. Oh, I'm going to suffocate. I'm going to suffocate. <gasps> there we go. Right. It was so weird to see my little thingies. Okay, let's repair everything. And it should happen. There's one more thing that's not working right now. No, okay, maybe that's it. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see if it is working. It's starting to happen. All right, sand is flowing, so we need to hightail it over to Brittle Hollow and get away from the sun. Get away from the sun. Get away from the sun. All right. Um, Autopiloting to Brittle Hollow. I never thought for a second that we'd have to go do something on one planet in the same day as running to another thing. Because that's what makes it so difficult. The moon. Goodbye, moon. Are you sure? We're kind of coming in hot. I, I feel like my autopilot. All right, retro rockets are out. So we need to, the fastest way to get down there and to flip it on is to... Oh, what's the fastest way? Hold on. Oh, snap. Crack and pop. That's fine. Which one is the fastest? Not there. The fastest way to get down and flip the forge. I would almost say... Oh! Not the ship. I'd almost say we just fly into the center and land. Yeah. I say we just fly into it. We're working against time. We get on this side and we should be able to go inside. Of course. You know this whole time when I've been like, oh, what am I supposed to, this whole time I've been like, oh, the planet's exploding. What are we gonna do? It's gonna have nothing left. Of course, more and more explodes as the day progresses. Such a goober, do not land in that. Do not land in that. The pole of the black hole. There, we need to land on top of that. Yeah, it, I think there's so many different moving parts as you're playing this game that it's really easy to forget just simple, mm, the simple things that are happening. 
like such as okay if the day is going over and stop letting that. the day is going over and over again right oh this is perfect then naturally it's going to start over and it's going to be here so every time we come back here it's still falling apart just not as not as much as it once was okay we need to go down to flip the switch i wish there was a fast way to get back here Okay, move it. Nice. Now we hightail it back to Ember Twin. I think, unless we fast travel. I guess the other way you could do this is fast traveling. You know what? The fastest way out of here might be through the black hole. Zoom down. Into the black hole, I say. And I don't say this often, but... Whee! Alright, to the twins. To the twins. What is that? Is that a piece of... What the heck is this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it's pieces from the... Right, it's pieces from Brittle Hollow. Okay, headed over towards the twins. I see ours. Where are my twins at? There's Timber. Oh, by the way, let's go hop on the cannon after this. Let's go check out the cannon. There's our twins. All right, engage in autopilot. Hopefully we don't fly into the sun. Mm. Oh, this is a good flavor. This is the orange. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on not as many energy drinks. I'm actually going to abort autopilot. Just kind of float in. We're going to match velocity with it. We're a little closer to the sun than I'd like. Like, seriously closer to the sun than i like. Match velocity. Match velocity. Match velocity. <laughs> All right. Zoom over. I'm just going to slow it down. We'll do autopilot now. Aligning flight trajectory. It's a lot of aligning. All right, it's aligned. Accelerating towards destination. I love how it shows the um, the little dots too while it's aligning. All right, firing retro rockets. This is perfect. We've got this. The music right now. Look at that with the green hue and the orange. Okay, I'm coming in hot. Hold on. Come down in, but also fire. Come down. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh gosh. Okay. 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 Nice. 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 Okay. Now we zoom over towards our. Wow. They still haven't pulled a lot. I thought this whole time they would have pulled more. Hmm. I guess we did that pretty fast, though. Oh. Let's find where any of the... I guess we need to go to the equator. Okay, that's moving in the equator, which means not that. There. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna land right here. And do I have fuel? I have... I'll just top it up. All right, top of fuel, drop down. And boom. Bring it back down. All right, the sand is moving that way. Let's just go ahead and see. This should be blocked. I don't think we can open this one, right? So we're going this way. That's so cool. Wee. Oh, I'm gonna smack into that. Whoa. All right. It needs to uncover more, so it needs to go around a couple more cycles before we can actually... Hmm... I don't love it, but I guess we'll just sit here and wait. Yeah, because the one that we need is right here? Is right here. This is the... I wonder if we can get into it early. No, because this one's closed. Yeah, this is our guy. This is our guy, and I don't think there's a way to get into it early. I don't think, but we can see. 
I reckon one more time around should be enough. I need that sand to move a little faster. I guess we can enjoy the view, though. My oxygen's gonna deplete. I need to go into the middle section to get oxygen back. Yeah, I want us to be able to fast travel to... Oh, the storms. Wow, you can even see the storms happening on Giant's Deep from that far away. Surely one of these will flash us over to the sun station. I'm actually gonna go to this guy. Oh, the ca ow, cactus. It's close. I need the oxygen. Okay. Perfect. One more cycle around. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. All right, one more cycle and we can go towards the other one. Here we go. I need to look at it partially. Here it comes. And there she goes. Actually, that's massive. Don't waste fuel. Alright, so this takes us to Timber Hearth. Don't get wiped up in that. Don't throw it. This takes us to Timber Hearth. The one before takes us to... Not Adel Rock. Um, the opposite planet. What does the one take us to after this one? Because we know that this guy takes us to... Brittle Hollow. I don't think we've discovered what the one after this takes us to. Okay, here we go. Take me up to the spirit in the sky. There's Bramble. There's giant steep and the falling pieces, the falling cannon that we need to go explore to see the remnants of the cannon, which we will do after we explore this. There. Ready? Buckle up. Also the moon. Woo! We did it! And it should be charged up to send us back. And look, the forge should be here. The forge is here. The forge is here. Yes. Okay, we've already seen that. Don't jump, whatever you do. I learned that the hard way. The forge is so interesting. The shape and everything and how they constructed this. All right, what does it say? Be cautious near the boarding area while the black forge is operational. What? Okay. Wow. Okay, well, they did put trees on here. They have one of those memory processors. Death. Is it gonna open in its eyes? I guess I've already died. Whoa. What is that thing? Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's attuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with the astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not pokey. <laughs> we don't need to align. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center, of course, just five degrees. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform, oh uh, yeah, during the duration, yes, to avoid accidental transportation. That is such a good point. What does that mean? 
it, the whole thing glows. Ash twin projection stone. We need to take this back with us. Yes, we're going to take this back and be able to put it into the pool on the... Um, there's not a pool here, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Where am I taking the first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Clary, all of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude root! In that case, Pokey Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Pokey, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yarrow, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yarrow and Clary, mm-hmm. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations. So, those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is familiar with them. The tower designs in high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow. Okay, let me drop this scroll, take out this scroll. But how am I supposed to get to the high energy lab if. <sighs> drop scroll. I need to do this before we get zapped for today. Of note, Yaro believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is at its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? Does your romantic interest? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in a close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that your understanding of work technology at first, that was your, oh. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize that hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. So hourglass twins is not red, it's actually grayed out, or uh, orange. It's grayed out as if, hmm. I don't know, as if we've already seen the, all that we can see on that maybe? Okay, well, that's the forge. This thing, though. There's something with this that I think we're gonna have to do. Can't quite figure it out. One of the planets. Do we see anything happen? It's possible we'll have to come back later. It is possible. All right, we need to take this Ash Twin project stone all the way back to um the other planet so we're down here we're out of the forge here here's the pool oh here we didn't even have to take it there untranslated i have good news yarrow the advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of ash twin no it isn't yarrow is everything well at the forge don't worry, love. Pokey is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Mm -hmm. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I like Clary, but we saw her dead. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. This is cute too because you know that there's a little bit of time that has passed because they're referring to each other as love, which early on they weren't. Like in some of the earlier, I guess you could, you could infer that they were earlier ones. The Ash Twin again. I don't get these. Are they different ones? Do we need to let them all be placed in alignment? Do I need to keep that in place and not remove it? Maybe if I keep them all in place, more will glow? Like more of the eyes will glow. 
Mm -hmm. Do you need the corresponding piece? See how this is Brittle Hollows? And this is... Brittle Hollows, right? Or Brambles? Ash Twin. This is Ash Twin's projection stone. I'm gonna remove it, and I am gonna test something. Ash Twins. Um, we need to head back. We're gonna warp back, but I'm gonna put this with the corresponding one and see if something different happens. I don't think I even thought about the symbols before. I just was placing them to see what we would get. But what if there is a correct corresponding order in which you should place these in and then we have more eyes that open? Is this the breakthrough? Do I bring it with me? I do bring it with me. I bring it with me. There is a, there is a pool on one of these. Is this the, this isn't the projection pool. All right, the sand's coming close to us, so we need to wait. This is, uh, this is a different one. That might warp us somewhere, too. All right, forge is done. We can go back to the ship and see what that really shows for us. I do want to go to the cannon and just investigate that to begin with. Actually, sand is moving away from us. Correction. Correction. Of course. Woo! Back down, back down, back down. So there's something happening here. We still need to figure out what we're doing here. I don't want to drop this. Zoom all the way. So that I'm able to... Wah! Oh, sugar snaps! Okay, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Wait, I need to go up. This is one of the Ash Twin ones. But aren't there a bunch for Ash Twin? I thought there were a bunch for it. Oh, don't go through, don't go through, don't go through. Ah! No! Send me back! Send me back! All right, we figured that whole part out. Let's test this. Is it down here? Oh my goodness, where am I? This is a scroll area, but it's not actually where we place the projection pool. There we go. Projection pool might be placed down there at the next one. We gotta test this. The sand, we're still in the middle of it. Leave it alone. Is it passing that way? That's where we came from, no? Oh, this is, okay. No, this is good. We got our oxygen back, we're running out of fuel. I thought there was a projection pool at one of these, or somewhere on this planet. Was there not? Huh. Maybe there wasn't. Oh, it's coming back around, it's coming back around. Not a projection pool. Not a projection pool. Interesting. Maybe we need to get on the other planet. So we need to bring this with us, maybe. In our ship. I need to get back to the ship. Guys, I think my ship got sucked up. Aha. Uh -huh. I need to get sucked up. Take me. Um, well, that did not go over how I expected it to. No, we're on the right planet now. Okay, where's my ship now? Okay, ship's this way. Ow. Ship is on the complete opposite side. And I am fuel levels critical, so I'm using oxygen as fuel. I just need to skim the surface of this. We're coming in. This is good. This is good. This is okay. Here we go. Nice. So let's repair all of this stuff and we're gonna stay on this planet. We're just gonna look for where we can place this. Am I able to just leave this? Okay, I'm healed up. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's check what we saw that's new. Okay, view the log. We got a couple new things. Alignment angle diagram. 
High Energy Lab are a three new things. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. There were six. A Nomai named Pokey successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five, oh, that was the five degree window of the astral center body. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping into the warp platform during the active window will immediately be warped. Shoot, I'm getting zapped. Boom. Which means I'm gonna lose this. Goodbye, cool world. I need to test my my idea though of having those pieces locked into the corresponding location. That'd be a pain in the neck if it is though, because we'd need to find all of them again. But maybe that is another part of the mystery. But that was good. We did discover the Black Forge, Black Hole Forge. All right, we're zooming for that thing. I'm gunning for it. Uh, I do want to continue reading everything we saw, though. I think it's time we take it to Bramble this episode, too. I think we should. Ooh. All right, High Energy Lab, Ash Twin Tower Designs. There are towers designed in the High Energy Lab that reveal each warp receiver's location. Anglerfish Fossil, Lake Bed Cave, and Sunless City. Hmm. All right, we're going to beam for this. We do have, yeah, we need to go look at it. Quantum moon, go back to rumor mode. Was it Ash Twin project? An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin, which is how they were able to travel in and out. Gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead and look. It keeps exploding at the start of every single time. So let's go check out this thing. Whoop. We're looking for it there. Okay, so we're gonna zoom towards this. I think what I'm gonna have to do is align myself with it and then I'm gonna have to float out. It might not let me though. There's a good chance that, yeah, see I can't, I can match. Okay, I'm matching. It's time to get a look at this. Match it, match it, match it, match it, match it, match it. Right. No, there is a landing spot on it. Look, there is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh! Okay, this is going to be really difficult. We can do it. We can do it. Bring it down. Bring it down. Hot. Wow. Wow. We did it. Right. Oh! I see. <laughs> Another one of these chambers. Clever. So clever. It probably took me far too long to figure this out. What in the world? What? So this broke apart, but what are we... Oh. Probe tracking module. Probe tracking module. Uh, launch module. What is this thing? It's another one of those towers. And then the third one. Is there only two or is there three? I thought there were three. There it is. Okay. I was actually thinking that, wait, there is a third one. Where is it down there? 
Oh, there is something further down there. So some of them are broken off, but not all of them. Take this. Get the scout back. Translate. Control module. Let's go into the control module. Ah! Oh my goodness. I would be a mess. Space. Is this piece broken off though? Oxygen? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, intense music. We just found something major. Whoa. Oh, we've never seen one of these. Wow. Let's check it out. This is the launch module projection stone. See, I think we need to align it with the right corresponding one. Bramble. All of this is just in disarray. Okay, we're gonna pause that for a second. But there's two. There's two. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And I am right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye in the universe. They wanted, and I bet you they pushed it past, and they told them not to. And that's why it keeps breaking off and we keep repeating the same day? Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can. I'll make the adjustments. I can pause it, uh, pause it with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. You think so? They factored in that you would go beyond? I thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search, increasing my heart's temperature, my love. The thought of, oh, the thought of. Oh, man. All right, let me just drop that. And then this is the giant's deep projection stone. I have bad news, Avens. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. You actually do get to find out who has been at which spot. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brothers. She fears Idea may feel responsible. We know which Nomai is at each corresponding place, too. We haven't seen what's in this projection stone. Since we're already by Giant's Deep, we could try to take this to its own projection stone. This is the, the construction yard. Of course. Guys, it all makes sense. The projections I'm seeing, they're the next location of where you need to be taking the stone. This whole time I thought we were getting a glimpse of the future or something like that. If you misplace it, it will show you where it needs to go. Oh my goodness. I, this whole time, this whole time, which means, that I need to take the launch module. Oh no, I need to take it to the other room. But isn't this cracked and open in space? Yeah. Everything's floating. Oh, it all makes sense. It finally makes sense. Okay, so it took me a while to get to that, but we figured it out. And what is this? I don't want to start something that I can't... Is this firing? Wait, we can take it into any of these spots. But we haven't figured out what this necessarily does. This shows us the cannon 
Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Five minutes, 54 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Let's take this further. There's little tiny things that I'm gonna have to spend the next, this episode we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna uncover so much. All right, here's the cannon. It launched something and then it fell into, and then it fell. Begin launch log, orbital probe cannon, launch request received, probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during lunch. Launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. That was what was supposed to find the moon and the eye. Wow, guys, I feel like I just figured like a major piece out this whole time. I've been so goofy. This is showing what occurred at the moment. Okay. It's the structure that we're at. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. And that's it. There's nothing else. So let's bring this bad boy all the way up here. All the way over to the very first one. Oh, oh. Oh, sugar snaps. Go back. I am so happy. I feel like I just uncovered something that I should have realized so much earlier, but I don't even care because I'm so happy by the, like, the discovery of it that it doesn't even matter. I don't even feel sh like foolish for not realizing it sooner. So that's where it goes, period. Right, let's go back. We got all those logs. So first things first, we're gonna take the one that's right here and we're gonna align it. And this is how I think we can fix it. All right, we need to zoom up. Ooh, we need to go. It's going to take a little bit, but we can do this. I'm going to have to repair my fuel. We might be able to make it to Giant's Deep before the day resets, too. I'm so happy. All right, to the launch module, right? OK, so we're going down here, back to the center. And then this one looks like it's, I think this is it. Is this the one that's fractured? Hold on. Let's find out. Launch module. That's it. Right? Same symbol? Yeah. All right, we're going in. If it's even possible. It's not possible from here. We'd have to go out from the crack outside. No. Okay. And then that is the... That was the control module. This is the launch module. Oh. Probe tracking module is completely shot. Pull him back. Pull him back. Yeah, that's just the vacuum of space. Wait, where's my... Put away. Okay, I still have it. Okay, ready? We're gonna try this. This is gonna be risky. Oh. Well. And... I might need to get fuel recovery first. I'm gonna go fuel recover first. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna come back out here. I could go from outside too, but I think it's gonna be faster to use where the module was dropped. Yeah, we're gonna do this right. I don't wanna have to rinse and repeat stuff. So I'm gonna just try my hardest to do it right the first time, you know? Zoop. Even if we have to reset for the day. Okay, getting my bearings. There we go. Let's also see what got added. Here we go, orbital probe cannon, massive mystery that I wasn't doing anything with. Control module discovered. All right, the broken remains of the Nomai space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access ways, access ways branching off of the central hub area. The orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. Uh, the Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe and it ended up costing them. You hate to see it. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. 
The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. But why would that be the day that we keep being messed up on is when this breaks apart. Did the probe find something? Is it like the power that was created there is why we keep seeing it again and again? One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass viewpoint. Viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space, which is going to be our in. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. No, my computer reports that the probe tracking module is missing. M-I-A. Okay, let's do it. So we climb back in. We're going to go out from the tracker. So the probe tracker, we're going to go out and we're just going to step over to the side and go in through the crack in the windshield. Oh, there we are. So we need to go here, right? This should take us straight out. Well, right, straight out into space. And we need to go up and then over. Up and over into, that's where my ship is. Is this the... That is the central location. Gosh, we are moving. And we are 100% in the vacuum of space and it's terrifying. I probably should have known where we need to be. Is this it? Is this the one that has the crack? I guess I could just skim over it. Mmm. This one seems pretty intact, if you ask me. It's where the ship is. Three hubs. Is that one cracked? No. There, it is. It's this one. This one's cracked. Okay. Zooming in. Woo! All right. But we have to remember that we're not going to be able to... Oh, gosh. Oh, we can! Despite the uh, integrity being messed up. Here we go. Launch pad construction. But we don't see anything. You just place it. We don't get anything. We don't get a viewpoint or anything. The only reason we were even getting any kind of look was because it was telling us where we needed to take it. Ah! Probe tracking module projection stone. I feel like... Wait. Hold on. Pick this one back up. I feel like I've just discovered a whole new world. And maybe we get the right text of the cro uh, proper events or something? That aligned, but are there two? There must be two. Is there anything up top? Oh, shoot. That's my control module, because it's going to fly around. I need to be careful with this. Wait a minute. I have the control one. All of our pieces are here. Okay, we need to float back out, or we can float... Oh, no, we can't go back in. Snap piece. Okay. Back out through the crack. We need to remember to come back here. Okay. Go back over here. We can't get in it, so we have to go back up here. That's gonna hurt. Whoop. Okay, back into this. Drop us down. Now we need to run to the control room. Okay, now open hatch and drop down. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see what happens when you... Oh... Well, <laughs> this is a bit of a pickle because <laughs> I need to move the ship over just a hair. You just need to move it over a smidge so that I can go out. Kind of messed myself up with that one. Yeah. All right, so we're headed back down here. We need to find the end to one of the spots. All right, 50% fuel is not good. I should have fueled up at the ship. Boop. Okay. One of these has an opening. One of these. This is not the right thing. I'm trying to get a bird's eye view of it. Okay, the ship's there. One of these has an opening. Let's go through here. This is something different too. We would maybe be able to call something back with this. Okay, I'm starting to get a little too wild. Okay.
I think it might be that one. Um... Where is the right path out? Where did I come out? Where did I go in? Guys, our fuel is bad. I need to get back to the ship. I know, I know, I know. Fuel level critical. Oh. 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 Okay. Let's refuel first. That screwed me over. That screwed me over. Oh. Okay. Ah! Take me up. There we go. All right. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, shoot. We did learn something new. We got the module. We got the launch module. Let's click that. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. There's more to explore here. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, you guys. We have to see where... Where did I go in from? If those are always the pools... Is it this one? These are the pods, we know that. So that means that there should be an entrance at one of these spots. That's the cracked one. Okay, that, if that's the cracked one, that means we go around here. This might be the intact one. Oh, the deep vacuum of space, how it terrifies me. Mm. That is the control center, but you can't get into it from there. I'm kind of messing this up. There. That's got to be our way in. That's the only one we haven't been to. So I need to be... Hold on. Let me slow it down, too. I should be able to go in from... Am I crazy? This one's cracked, too. Hmm. It must be on a totally different side. Because that's not the way in. That's... Oh my goodness. I see the second one. I'm going to waste another tank of fuel for this. There's the third one. I don't know why my... I, why am I cranking my head? Nothing's happening. Oh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I'm losing... I'm losing it. This is the control center, correct? But I can't get back into it from here. Right. Where did it get launched from? It wouldn't have one of these pods because it was the launcher. So it wouldn't have one of these pods. We just need to see where it looks like it's broken off. It would launch from, let's go get our refuel. It wouldn't be one of those pods. It would be on the opposite side where they launched it. Whew. I'm getting dizzy from this guys. <laughs> And it's also really dark right now. Okay. So, it would be wherever they launched it from, which would be at the breakoff point right here. Here we go. This is our way back in. Silly. We'll be able to, oh, hopefully I can get back around. All right, and now we need to go to the control module in here, place this in the projection pool. Then we need to hightail it and hopefully make it to get the last piece for this and see what happens when you place all of the corresponding pieces for an item. <gasps> this is exciting. This is a breakthrough. This is a whole breakthrough, guys. And the intense music begins. We need to flip flop. Here we go. All right, let's place the correct corresponding one in the right spot. That needs to go to Giant's Deep. Here's the question, do they remain? This is what happens when you... Well, this would be the projection pool, right? Insert control. I guess there's multiple, right? I don't know, something happens when you place it there. They twist and do something. I'm gonna leave it there. So I think there's another one. There's only one way to test if this actually stays put though, which would mean we'd have to... Only way you could possibly let go of me. Only way you could possibly test it is if we come back here and see if it remains in the spot after we restart the day. Which I'm gonna have to because we need to come back for the giant steep one anyway. So let's go grab the last one in the broken spot. 
So we go out here. We're going to go to the launch system. The failed launch stone is not that. It's that one. So we're going to go out the launch, up and over towards the broken spot. Grab the last piece. There. That's the broken window one. So we go out here. Gosh, it makes you want to, like, correct your head with it. Oh, okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I'm getting away from it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, oh, nice. No, oh, sugar snaps. Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay. All right, we got to do this fast. We got to do this fast. Hold me down. Nice. Okay, so we need one more for this spot, too, to make it actually work. And then we're taking the probe tracking module and we're placing it... Wait a minute. Was there a spot for the probe tracker? I don't remember seeing a probe tracking pool. Hmm. I don't know about that. We might need to see what pops up when we place this in the projection pool. To see what it wanted from us. Okay, our fuel levels are getting pretty, pretty shady. Where is it? Uh, zoom down. We're getting lost into space. Um, here we go. <laughs> I'm getting lost in space. Oh my goodness. See, I'm picking up too much speed. I don't like this. There, 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 there. Put me back. Put me down. It's the breathing. I haven't even been looking at my oxygen levels. See, I'm in the third projection, so that wouldn't make sense. I'm gonna go ahead and test it on a projection pool and see what we see. See what happens. Oh, fuel level critical. We love to see it. Okay. Yeah, let's check this out. That's not good. This is something else. This was before it got launched and is missing. This is the pro. Which, oh, the other missing one is there too. We're not gonna be able to do this unless we find the other half to it, the piece that broke off. Oh, snap. Okay, let's try to make it to Giant's Deep before we leave. I think that's the last thing I wanna try to do uh, before the day goes. Back up to the ship, to Giant Steep. My head's getting all sorts of confused. Why is the weather changing all of a sudden, guys? I guess that's just what happens. I think it's just what's happening in this day. The weather starts to crazy change when you start getting closer to the end of the day, maybe? There it is, it's, it's gonna happen, yep. Right, well, so much for getting this to its corresponding planet. It is damn beautiful, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll come back. I want to come back for this. Just because the planets are right by each other. I want to see what happens when you put the right one in when there's nothing else that you need. Because I haven't, I don't know, oh, there's so many. I have so many thoughts and feelings and I wish I had observed this earlier. I mean, why else would they be showing us other locations with the wrong symbol? I never even took into consideration the symbol. I, I'm not doing that. I do this where I like beat myself up for not realizing it, but obviously it's not like second nature. Right, before we get back to there, I'm gonna get us back to there too and pick that up for us. Um, but I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Hold on. Right, guys, I'm back at it again. Obviously, new day for me, same for y'all. I I remember. Okay, I remember. I remember, remember the 5th of November. We are headed to 
basically put all of those stones back in place. So essentially, if you guys remember, the light bulb went off a couple minutes ago. For me, it was a couple days ago, but for y'all, a couple minutes ago, light bulb went off. I now realize that wherever the projection stone is, it needs to be slotted into its corresponding location. However, we need to find out if once you've connected it with the right spot, does it stay there? So what we are gonna do, I don't think we discovered anything new, at least on the ship log. But what we're gonna do is we are going to head to that, the launch or the, yeah, yeah, the launch thing. Then we're going to pick up the Giant's Deep location and take it to Giant's Deep. So that's what we're gonna try to accomplish in this single day. Whee! I've missed these. I've been gone for a few days. It was actually a little bit unfortunate because I was going on a work, well, no, the, it was not unfortunate. The work trip was incredible, but I had just figured out what was going on here. And so I was like, I, I really wanted to record the rest of it. And I just had to skedaddle at the end of the last video. I see that. Not an energy drink, although probably part one of this video, I did have an energy drink, so <laughs> ignore me. Okay, we're landing back on that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'll wait for it to go retro rockets. Okay, firing retro rockets. What was that? Oh, maybe one of the tornadoes. All right, get us aligned up and boom. Okay, so instead of going landing, here it comes. There she blows. All right. Oh, gosh. That's coming in hot. That is coming in hot. Oh. Oh. <gasps> We've never died like that. <laughs> We've never. <laughs> I have never. I've never. <laughs> I've never died. By hitting something too hard like that. I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh... And boom. Woo! Welcome back, y'all. All right. <laughs> I'm the mess around. Nothing's ever gonna bring me down. So let's see if those two locations are in place. And then after that, we'll try to take the other thing to Giant Steep. There's something in my eye. <laughs> oh no. Good morning. Okay, I don't exactly remember where the giant steep one was, so I'm just gonna go in here first. Nope, this one was crashed. This is the one we're able to go into. Is this the main chamber? Yes, yeah. I think it might be in here, actually. Oh. Okay, we're about to find out what happens. Tree is detected. Uh... Yes. Oh. Okay. That is the launch module projection stone, which I did... I thought I placed it. That's not good. I didn't stay. It didn't keep. There is no way that they want you Okay, we're gonna do this, oh. What are the chances they want you to place all of them on the same day? That would be nearly impossible, right? Okay, I'm caught into a bad situation here. <laughs> There's no way for you to be able to do that. Or maybe you have to complete, maybe in order for it to stay, you have to complete whatever's there, like on that planet, you know what I mean? 
So maybe it has to be... Okay, we're here. We'll try this. Oh! I don't know. That would be really difficult to have to go to every single planet and get this in the right spot. I don't even think that would be possible. Not unless you knew exactly where to go, but even still, that would be... <sighs> we'll try this. We'll take this to Giant's Deep. There's two on Giant's Deep, though. And I'm not sure if... <sighs> okay. Let me go. And am I going to lose this if I buckle up? Just make sure we don't crash into Giant's Deep. All right, head on in. Go down. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. All right. We are looking for the construction zone. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's the construction zone. Here we go. Oh, move it across. There we go. Okay. We still have it. Let's go ahead and refuel oxygen. Good to go. Oh, <laughs> right to you. Here we go. Remember, we can head into space whenever they come close, so we need to do this fast. In fact, I think there's one coming up close. We might get tossed up. Hold on. Uh... I think we're fine for now. I'm gonna haul butt. Go, go, go! The music here. So this should be the right, this should be the right projection stone. But nothing happened. Then the control module. I've got to get back and place all the modules in the right spots. Let's try to hop up. So this is the one we were missing. Maybe these two need to go together at the right time, but the rest don't matter. The only downside is I'm already at a loss because I had to, no, if you reset the day, you're fine. Yeah, if I reset the day, I'd be fine. Okay, let's haul butt. Go, go, go. Okay, get up. And now we head back over there. Buckle up. Get out. This is all just testing. I'm not sure if this is what we really have to do, but it's only one way to find out. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up over. Okay, find the piece. I don't see it yet. It's probably on the other side. Hmm. There it is. Match velocity. I have to go in. No, I don't want to match that velocity. I want the little the guy. Go, 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 go. Hold on. Come on! I should be able to zoom over there. There's the interloper, right? There, now I can match velocity. Come in hot, come in hot, come in hot. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Whoa, what is that? Is that a piece of it? That's something else. Oh, is that a piece of brittle? Oh, it's part of the, it's part of the you know how Giant's Deep launches it up? That's what it is. Okay, let's kind of come in. Match velocity. Match vel- Oh my gosh. <laughs> Zoom out. <laughs> this will be a difficult thing to do. Okay, match velocity. Match velocity. Okay, go on up. Come on. Ooh. Match velocity. All right, we have to do this as fast as possible. I should remember how to. Okay, I'll accept it, I'll accept it. Okay, we got a hall butt. This is the control, right? The control room is in fact one of the, the control module. I think that's in place. I think that's good to go. Okay, go, 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 go. Getting insane. This is it. This is missing. No, this isn't missing. Okay. 
this is the one that we're able to connect into. Oh, <laughs> my back. All right, grab it. At least we can do the controls together, but I think that means we have to head to two of the other chambers. Okay. All right, place that in. That is the wrong, no, that's the right location. That's one of the twos. Huh. It doesn't give us any additional text. We might as well go take two. This is the launch one. We might as well go take this where it needs to go. There is one more that we need to grab. It might be in the launch zone. We're gonna have to go out and back in. That always trips me up. So we need to go out and back in in order to do this. Ah! Hold on. We need to go up and out. That one's blocked, which means we have to go through the cracks. So we need to go through here. Up and out, up and out, up and out. All right, fuel's not great. We need to head over here. Okay. Is that red thing that keeps doing that? Is that the, that wouldn't be the piece. There's the crack. There's our crack we're looking for. Oh, there we go. Perfect execution. We're on the ground. We're gonna place this one in its location. That's the three, crap. We need two of these. Am I gonna get this in time? All right, three, so we need to jump back out now. Wait, there's the one that's floating right there. Wait, okay, place probe tracker there. Grab this one. All right, we have the second control part. So now we can head back through the crack. And then we can do, oh. Now we need to head back up here. Actually, we can just go from here and it'll be faster, I think. Whoop, perfect. And way down, no, wait, oh, I did this last time. I have to remember to move it out. Yeah, I have to remember to move it out. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel via our ship. Um, okay. Okay, so we need to drop here. And this isn't great because it's pretty dark here, but we need to find the centerpiece. Oh my gosh, it's so dark here. Okay, this is this piece, but this is not where we need to go through. Hold on. Oh gosh. Where is it? Where is it? It's not here. It's one of these on the side there. That's where we need to go through. No, 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 Do not take me into, do not take me into the ships. Hold on. Okay, nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, come on. Seriously? I might like this. No, 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 no. This is not easy. Perfect. Drop me. Drop me. <laughs> I don't know why I still have not figured out how to do this very well. There we go. Oh. Every time I smack it. Okay, this will be the first time that we connect two with two, so we'll see what happens. And then we can go do the three one two. Right. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and try to do the out. So let's try to take this out here. We're gonna do something for ourselves. Oh, that wouldn't work anyway. You always have to go through from that. I can't even switch it back around. Like it wouldn't be possible. I'd have to go inside of the chamber. 50% fuel left. We need to go inside of this, is it? No. Okay, let's try to go in three and go ahead and drop. Well, it wouldn't work. It just, I, I'm kind of like piecing this together, but 
you would not be able to place all parts together. You know what I mean? Because the... The module is gone. Like, one of the major components we'd need to be able to set into place to have everything in this vicinity done is missing. Because we have to try to find the probe that launched. So I don't even know if you could do this, really. I'll grab the missing piece, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Hmm. It's a bit unfortunate. So if we grab this, because we need a second... What does this show us in the module? This shows us the one that's missing. And I can't tell where it is. It tell I, I feel like it's got to be in the Bramble area, maybe? Maybe it's in the Bramble location. So let's go ahead and jump out. We need to find the second one for this area. I feel like at any moment it's going to do the whole... Let me go refuel, by the way. It's going to do the whole... Boom. <coughs> nice. Refuel. Head back down. Okay, so we need to find where that missing chamber is, which is on one of these, because these are the locations. So we just go till we find the broken one, which is right here. And now we go up and in. All right, let's play. Oh, well, this is missing. Ah! Yeah, this is missing. I can't do anything with it. Well, snap. Yeah, because we can't place it down here, right? <laughs> I wonder if there's other locations that we can complete. Like, can you complete... This is the first time that I've had both of these here. And they are aligned. Let me drop this real quick. And let me pick this one up. All it's gonna do is show me this. It's just gonna show me the same projection we saw before. So we pick it up, we drop it, we pick up this one, place this one here. Now we're going to pick up this. So when you place the corresponding one, it does not show us any new text. But if you do the wrong one, Oh, it doesn't show you text either. Well, I don't know where the broken piece is, so... This is a bit moot. Damn. Is the second missing piece up here? No. Huh. Right, this showed us the text. I'm gonna head out to the ship and see if we've learned anything new. But so far from what I can tell, even if you correctly lay the corresponding stone in the right inlay, you still aren't able to keep it there after the day disappears. At least from my initial feelings. Granted, we never pieced together both. So like, you know how the control panel had two? Where's the second piece for? Is it maybe floating off in space? Trying to figure out where the second piece was. Huh. Anything new discovered? I don't think so. No, but just more here. There's more to explore here with the launch module. Control module's done. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I could see purple electricity. I didn't even see that. I didn't think about that. So we need to break through the electricity pool. Okay. All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Right. So the orbital cannon. At this point, we know then that the orbital cannon is down in oceans deep in that orb, and that's where it got lost, which makes so much sense. I don't know why I would have thought it was in Dark Bramble. I mean, it's not crazy to think because it is next to it, but 
if it is down there, then we have to figure out whatever that energy is. It's some kind of electricity, right? So something tells me that the high energy lab is going to yield a lot of those answers. I already told you guys that I think the high energy lab is where we'll learn about the ghost matter. So all signs are pointing to getting back to here. To going back to Ember Twin, but I just feel lost with Ember Twin. I... We've got the Sunless City, which I've somewhat discovered, but there's more to be discovered because it's still orange. Lake Bed Cave. We still haven't gotten in the Lake Bed Cave. We have the Anglerfish Fossil. Anglerfish Fossil, which doesn't even have a picture with it. And the High Energy Lab. I'm thinking we should backtrack to where we were before because when I first originally got in there, when I first landed on here, I didn't realize that the sand was starting to fill. So maybe we backtrack. It's like when you lose your keys, you know, and you try to go back to your very first moment. I mean, we've just gotten so much out, like so much has been discovered outside of that. We do have Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which I forgot about. Oh, I need to get into there, don't I? Yes. No discoveries yet. I haven't even gone here yet. I know I still need to go there. Whoa. Wait, right, the Whitehall Station. But I think is everything accounted for there? Yeah. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, the probe tracking module. Okay, we need to head back to Ember Twin, but I kind of need to reset the day because we're going to get zapped either way. So is there anything else I can do while I'm out here? I'm trying to think. Anything else I want to do? I guess is there a way to reset? Well, there is a way to reset. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! <laughs> and then we'll be lying straight. Oh no! Burn to a crisp, baby. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> the day probably only had a little bit left. Don't look at me like that. Mm-mm. I wonder when it stops, though. I don't think that was a waste of time. That was good to be able to test that. It was good. <gasps> okay, so when we first... Th you can see it launch. Now that I think about it, you can see it launch. But it almost goes down there. So it's amazing to me that it... Right, the probe landed over there, but the other piece to the cannon fell backwards into Giant's Deep because of the pressure. It would have just, like, popped it right off. Okay, so I don't think that was a waste of time. It was important to see. I'm still going to try to place those where we need to because maybe it will give us some more information. But otherwise, going back to our first steps when we went on to Ember, right? Our first moves with it were... All right, we're going to autopilot. Hopefully it doesn't autopilot me into the sun like it's been doing. I feel like I'm autopiloting. Match, 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 match. End autopilot. Match velocity, match velocity. Please. Okay, we don't want to land on that guy. We want to land on this guy. Wow! Not the sun. Not the sun. There we go. Ember rock. Gauge autopilot. Okay, bring me in. So, what was the first thing we did when we landed on here? Oh, snap, snap, snap. Ugh. Whatever. I think the first thing I did was... Oh, I saw him, but that wasn't it. The first thing we did was we found the escape pod, no? I know there's the cave. I know, I see you, I see you. Where's the escape pod, though? Everything's down bad right now. That is not the escape pod. It's just... There, that's the escape pod. Let's start by going... Okay. I'll repair it after. Repair after. It's starting to fill already. Dang it. So, I say we start by going back into... Ah! The escape pod. We read that text. I do remember that. So you can hear it because they 
If they created a city here, would it not have been all the way at the base here? I don't know. Okay, it's starting to fill. Let's go back to these. Emergency escape hatches. Don't go to the bottom of that. Then they went over here. We found an enormous cave at the end of this passage. It appears promising. Did I just never find that cave? Did I go this way? I don't think I ever went this way. Look more. Stairs of some sort? Okay, this is good. Cactus, 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 cactus. Did I go here? The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead. We need to jump over there. I've never been here. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left. Continue to the room filled with a rock column formation. Climb upward to the opening above. The sand here is rising, so you must be swift. Not down there, right? It says go this way. And then take a left. No. Take a left. It's blocked. There's nothing here. Oh, there is something here. So go down here. Oh. Oh, I can go through the sand, of course. There's nothing here. It did say climb, right? Didn't it say to climb? Lots of sand. I'm gonna get stuck. This is gonna be a nightmare. I'm... Mm. It's a dead end. Wait, climb? Wait, I've been here before. This is the same, same. This isn't anything new, right? That's the message that we just saw. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left and continue to a room filled with rock column formation. Turn left at the sand falling. Then there should be rock column or rock formations. Okay. And it said something. No, 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 this is right. This is right. There's rock formations. And then it said to climb up. Turn left. Oh, no. I'm going to get stuck. Oh no. Why didn't they put more markers? You can't go up there. You can't go up here. Oh, this is a nightmare. Is that up? Wait! Okay. This is promising. Keep to the left or something? <gasps> new, 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 new. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Melore and I crafted will do the job, but it isn't strong. Once at the far side, look for the tunnel behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Once at the far side, look for the tunnel behind the falling sand. Tunnel behind the falling sand. Okay, so it didn't end up holding. Look for the tunnel behind the falling sand. <gasps> You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes up. Wait, are we sure this isn't where I went before? Oh, snap. <gasps> we did it! We did it! What is this? Yo, we did it. This is the, this is where, this is, this is where they, okay, the sand's filling, but I should be fine, right? Can I not do it while the sand's filling? What's over here? This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. 
We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is at this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information here undiscovered. That's why Coleus was trying to mess around with the gravity stuff and then got lost. An update. We need to find a way inside the cave quickly, Malore. Because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. What? The angler. Wait, retrieve scout? Wait. There were children. Okay, so we, we found another, I thought there was already a fossil. I thought we had encountered one fossil before. Oh, here we go. Angler fossil overlook. <gasps> the sunken city. I miss it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so many dead. It is going to fill up. It is going to be a race against time. Look how many they had here. Our oxygen levels are going low. Damn. We need to get up into that one. It's horrible. Ow. Another one of the suits. There's some stuff up in one of those. In this one? No. In that one. We somehow have to get into there. But we can't from the side. We can't from over there. 60 seconds remaining. We need to get back to... Oh, we saw the cactus. We should be able to breathe over there. Right. All right, oxygen recovered. There is something else over there that I should probably go to. But this looks like the main central area of this. Should we build Sun Station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this being suggested seriously. The, pro the purpose of the Sun Station goes against everything we stand and we hold ourselves to. Everything we believe in as a species. What would be so against it? Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than we've ever been able to do before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristics of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The, the potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe to cost. We should build a sun station, no matter- we shouldn't build a sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. So the fact that they did end up building it might be why everything is falling to pieces. At such a rapid rate. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Pokey, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the Sun Station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. The drama. Man. What is this? <gasps> There's more stuff that way. Oh, it's one of these little... <gasps> Angler Overlook District. This is a uh, Stepping Stone District. Can we do multiple? Stepping Stone District. 
High energy lab trailhead. Where? What turned on? Wait. No, no, no. No. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, it's fine. We went down here, but we need to get back up there. What is this? Oh, that's how we're going to get back up. I thought I was going to fall into nothingness. I guess we might as well look while we're here. I don't know if there's a rush. Like, I don't know if the... We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the angler fish over the coal, oh, I gotcha. That's how they got through. You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave and then up and into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the angler fish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Taggett can't fit through the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Le Livy now. Livy? Who cares? Ilex is still the tallest. So wait. Feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish lookout, throw a light into its mouth. He'll show you the way. Huh. Okay. It's down here. We need to head back to the fossil and do that. We can throw our, um... Yes, we can throw the thing. This is the stepping stone cave. Is it filling up? Am I having to race? I am having to race against time. Okay, things are filling up, so we'll have to do this multiple times in a day. This is gonna be filled before it's too late. Yeah, before... I need to get back up before it's too late. I can't do the fossil fish cave yet, I don't think. Let me let this take me back up here. Okay, go here. All right, we're able to power on things. I think we should do... Yeah, look at the sand. That's the highest light right there. I Shrine District. Interesting. I didn't even see where this... I. I I wonder if it's below the sand and that's why I can't see it. All right, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to come back here and do the anglerfish again. So we'll have to continue down the same path that we did before. Unless we can find, oh, ghost matter. Okay, avoid it. Avoid it, see what's up here. What's this? There's so much to discover here. There's so much. There's something in there. Oh, I can't go that way. The silly ghost matter. All right, things are getting bad. We need to keep moving up. We'll have to explore more later. Gravity cannon. Really? There we go. There's something over there too. The gravity cannon. Oh snap. I can't go through there. That entire location is... I think I'm gonna die in here. Because I have a feeling it's gonna fill up to the brim and I'm not gonna be able to escape. Ah! Mm -mm. That is just a way up to here. Yeah. It's chilling with all the bodies that we're seeing. It's another path up. I think I'm gonna get stuck. Look, the, the thing right there is about to... Oh, I just crushed that. Maybe we can go up this way? No, this is just the anglerfish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed its mouth. And then we'll be able to get in there next time. You have to race against time to be able to see what's happening here. I think I'm going to run out. I think the only way out would be to head towards the... Would be to head towards the... 
high energy tunnel, which you have to do really quickly. There's something here. Wait. Oh no, that just see that just leads you up here. Yeah, there's no way for me to. I mean, we might as well if we're gonna die, we might as well die trying to get past this this stuff, right? Might as well. Like it'll detect the ghost matter, but who cares at this point, right? I'm gonna die. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it was this way, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe I can get through because of the sand. Wait, that actually kind of worked. Wait, no, don't go to the... Hold on. We did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, we didn't have to die. Where does this come out though? <gasps> I see. All right, so next time we can land right here. We'll land right here, we'll jump up here and we'll go in through here. This will be a faster route than going the other way. This is good. This is good. Mm. Let's go back to the ship to see everything we've uncovered. Yeah. All right, back to the ship. Check out everything we've discovered, and then we will have to restart the day and find more. Just to find more. I'm here, ship. Oh, actually, I do want to see what's right there. Um, I don't really have to repair the ship, but might as well. Okay, this has been really eye-opening. I guess I completely fudged those tunnels originally. Okay, all the different things. Sunless City is officially uncovered. Okay, I thought we were gonna get a lot more than that. The Nomai children used to play a game in the Fossil Cave. There is a way to enter the fi uh, Fossil Fish Cave from the Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. There's more to explore here. A Nomai city built into the walls of the huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed this construction, arguing that the failure would result in the destruction of the solar systems. There's more to explore here. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. There we go, going map mode. Sunless City, more to discover, but it is officially not, we have a picture to it. So we did successfully find the city. I must have gone the completely opposite direction when we first came. Lake bed, cave, anglerfish, and high energy. We need to get these two. And Ash Twin Project, there is more, yeah. We're gonna have to discover the Ash Twin Project, which we haven't seen before. We don't even have a picture to associate with Ash Twin Project. Huh. Curious. I wanna go back up here. Wait a minute. Have I looked at this? Of chert, yes, we did. We saw chert's. Oops. Yeah, and we have read, we've read the, the symbols on that too. Because this is where Chert first landed, and then yes, this shows us where the moon is. Right. Maybe we need to wait for the sand to completely eat everything over there? To see the Ashwin project, possibly? And I feel like we understand a lot of it. Is it possible I'm missing something major? I kind of want to get sucked up in it. I 
I mean, we might as well. Here she comes. Kind of just messing around here. Take me. I guess you have to be... Okay. Maybe you have to be fueled up. Okay, that was so wait, it's it's going to it's gonna scoop me back up. Open, 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 open. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you definitely have to be you have to be launched for it to carry you. Right. <laughs> no, 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 put me down, put me down. Put me down. All right, let's just zoom around here, see what we can find. Anything new? Have we ever seen this? I guess maybe you need all of the sand, ow. Maybe you need all the sand to be taken in order to even discover what's at the base of it. It wants to pick me up. Yeah, I'm wondering if the entrance to this is once all the sand gets taken, we'll be able to enter into this, possibly. The only problem is I'm running out of oxygen. It's gotta be getting pretty damn close. <gasps> yes, yes, yes! Let me in, let me in. Two discoveries in one day? Couldn't be. Okay, take me to your leader. Hmm. Right. What is the point of being able to... What's the point of these platforms? That doesn't make sense. Maybe to repair it or something? All right, it's almost completely been juiced. It's about to happen, by the way. I think the thing is about to happen. I just feel like I hear it. Boom. This just takes me to the top of this, too. Right? Wow, this one's high up there. Same, same. Same, same. Fascinating. Do you hear it? I don't know if we've ever... Hmm. It's so pretty at the base of this, the rock at the base of this. It's beautiful. But yeah, I don't think... This is one of the towers. I mean, I don't think there's anything new here. This just shows us the towers. What happens once it's taken all of the sand? Does it just remain like this? Hmm. I think so. We've been here, we know this location. We actually got some oxygen back, which is nice. Fuel level's not doing too hot. That's fine. Here's our Nomai. So what happens once... It just rotates it. It's happening, now it's happening. <gasps> the 
<laughs> okay, we haven't seen that one. That was the sun. Goodbye. Right, I think there's two things I want to try to accomplish real quick before we end this video. I want us to try to do the anglerfish location and then also get to the high energy lab. So I'm going to see if we can do that. If we can land on, if we can land there, we can hop into that super secret cave and get there faster than if we go back through the previous location. So let's do that real quick and then we'll wrap up this video. And I've got to figure out my next strategy. I mean, there's definitely more to explore on Ember. Oh, you know what? We can start next video by going to Bramble. We haven't gone to Bramble at all yet. I'm probably one of the last people to head to Bramble like this. I feel like most people probably complete or head to Bramble right away, I would imagine, because it's like the scary unknown place. And I'm over here like, mm, I'll wait as long as possible. Okay, Ash Twins, where you at, baby? There we go. We want their Ember Twin. Autopilot initiated. Yeah, we'll start next video by going and exploring Bramble. And maybe, it, well, we might actually explore the high energy lab next video. It'll just depend. There we go. All right, bring me in. Get ready to land. Okay, not the right spot. Perfect. Well... Oh, gosh. Hmm. That was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay, there's the high energy spot. We need our end to the Sun City. We need that location. There. Here we go. Come in. Okay. I know my ship has seen better days. I know, I know. Okay, I think it's right there. Should be right here. Yep. Woo! Okay. But are we going to be affected by the ghost matter? Oh, I got so lucky with that because I didn't realize that there were spiky stuff at the bottom and I probably would have fallen if not. Right, we need to jump over there. Hold on. Oh. Okay, so light up the whole place. Angler fish first. Mm. Yes, the high energy lab is right there. Okay, I'm going high energy lab first. Angler fish can come later. Anglers later, guys. Anglers later. High energy lab, let's do this. Think of all the discoveries that we'll have. Okay, that can take us fast up there. This is it, this is it. Come on. Follow the light. This is good. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll do all high energy today and then we'll angler fish next time. Cause I do wanna, I do wanna look into it. So I was on, I had the right idea by the whole that's gonna push me down, that's gonna push me down, that's gonna push me down, no! No! What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. Uh, what the heck? I guess maybe you have to wait for the sand to fill it? So you can just walk across? Okay, food for thought. Food for thought, we just walk across. But then the brambles are going to push me back. Once the sand fills, wouldn't the brambles... Hmm. I could keep trying. I might as well. To no avail. All right, we'll wait our turn. We'll wait our turn. Oh, and we can wait for it to fill up a little bit higher than that bramble so we can just walk right over. Oh, I don't know. This presents a bit of a... bit of a mess. Okay, it's coming. We'll have to hightail over there to get there before the whole cave fills. Not 
ideal. I was hoping they were the ones that just move. Come on. Watch pot never boils. So a lot of these are genuinely here and they're not the moving ones, but it's weird that some of them do the whole move thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're close. I'm still gonna try. You already know. This has gotta be it. Come on. If I walk past, I should be able to jump on top of it. Come on. Okay, it's happening. Once we get to that height, we'll be able to go across. Come on. <laughs> we need some speed up music here. It pushes me down way too much. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Jump over. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to puncture the suit. Go. Go, 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 go. Patch suit, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. It's filling. Wait. What? No. Okay, maybe this way? Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, snap. This way? <gasps> Guys, I'm running out of time here. I am running out of time. This way. This way, this way, this way. Race against time. Come on. Please. Please place me in the lab. This has to be the path from the Sunless City. Yes. Yes! Yes! No! Wait. No, that's good. That's good, right? This is good. This is good, right? Wait, have I been here before? Oh no. I don't know if I've been here before. I don't know if I went the wrong way. I should have gone the other way. There. That looks like the entrance to the Sunless City. That, yeah, or to the uh, high energy lab. Okay, ready? And jump. Come on. Energy lab? This looks new. This looks new. This looks new. What? What? The sand's filling still. Oh no, it's not. It's that. This has got to be the lab. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Negative amount of time elapsing. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole's core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Hmm. All right, we'll drop that scroll. Look at this scroll. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an experiment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eye. To end that, to that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient enough. Of note, Raimi Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. 
funny. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are to able to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. I saw it. Hypothesis. <laughs> Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. For a negative time to elapse between it. So almost going back in time. Or maybe I'm interpreting that wrong. <gasps> Look at this. Maybe I am interpreting that wrong. Ship log updated. What in the world? This shows you where you go to. Well, that's 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 that one. That's that one. Those connect together. And that guy. Raimi, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Yes, so like time travel. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy, which is why they did this whole station in the first place. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. <laughs> My pun was unintended, Raimi. So I believe it's you who's aeriform. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking, the sun station. It's gotta be the sun station. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin, the Ash Twin project. Of course, of course, that's what the Ash Twin project was all about. Okay. I love how each piece is fed to you slowly. The Ash Twin project will be one of the biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we will need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial ma project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, and then, which is why they built the whole Ember to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location, or sorry, Ash Twin. I keep getting Ember and Ash confused. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to different planets. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The Giant's Deep, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. We could model the Timber Hearth Tower after a geyser mountain. Yes, a cyclone. That one's Bramble. Or that one is, yeah, Bramble Hollow. What is that one? Wait, that might be, sorry, that, no, no, Brittle Hollow. Bramble. The twins, the twins. Yeah, so you go to and from on the twins. And then that is the sun station. That would be the sun station, no? Maybe? My gratitude to those who noted my impressive language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has sufficiently been clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. Pokey, Root, and I can begin work on it immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. The sun station. If we go to the sun one, I can travel to the sun station and explore it finally. And this one has to be... Bramble? Wait, so this is... This is, um, Giant's Deep. That is... Brittle Hollow. Wrong. This would be Timber. That's gotta be the sun. That's got... Th okay. So yeah, that's gotta be the geysers, are the circles. Yes. I can't believe we did it. I'm so happy. Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Yes, we're back in here. But there's gotta be more that we're missing. This is all that the energy lab, I mean, I say all, but there's not more from the energy lab. What about the ghost matter? What about Bramble? Maybe the sun station? Wait a minute, what is this? What did I do? 
the power is now going into this. What are these? Warp cores? Warp cores? Already holding a warp core. Are these the little planets? I don't understand. <gasps> no. Is it like a connection from one to the other? Huh. Maybe you have to put corresponding warp cores together. So, i.e. These two. Or wait, maybe they flip. Maybe they flip flop, hold on. Maybe, oh wait, they rotate them. They rotate them. No, the chunks need to be together, no? Hmm. Maybe I misread that, so maybe we need to read that one more time. Warp core. Those are the warp cores that they talked about. Huh. Okay. This one is nothing. That's a nothing one. <gasps> oh. The time. It's arriving. <gasps> okay. Try flipping them? Maybe this is just where they tested, so there's not actually anything for us to really, really do. This is the white hole core. So let's try launching that way. It's arriving before it's actually happened. Oh. <laughs> but then it's. Yeah, it arrives faster. Then if you launch it over there, it's delayed. But you can't go core to core. You always have to have an opposite core, right? Like you can't do white core, white core. Huh. Why are there so many though? Some of them are larger than others. So for instance, this one is around the same size. But if we were to remove this, I believe that is larger, but I could be wrong. Let's actually take photos. Very cool. Is that everything though? I just, I thought there was gonna be something on ghost matter. But, I mean, we still learned a lot, don't, don't get me wrong. So we can take this energy back to here. Now it's powering the sunless city, which is when they were talking about how they took the energy from the city to be able to move things out of different rate over there. But now that we've restored the energy over there, we should be able to power up the whole city. Should be. Should be. Well, guys, I think we should try to make it over to the sun one. I just don't think it's going to take us over there. I feel like it's not going to take us to anywhere we haven't been, right? That'd be kind of weird. Hmm. Huh. So that was in fact the high energy lab. I want to go to the other planet because I want to try to make it to the sun one. Let me try to grab this ship in time. I think we're gonna do the fossil at, or come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. 
Yeah, I'm thinking we do the fossil one tomorrow and we'll go over to Bramble as well. So let me repair my ship and try to make it over to the next planet and see if we can make it to the sun station. Man, I really messed this one up. I'm pretty sure my cockpit needs repairing too, but I'm just gonna send it. We can try to get picked up in the storm. Yeah, let's try to get picked up in it. Make it nice, clean, easy. Uh, oh. Oh. Woo! Woo! That'll do. That'll do. All right, we're looking for what looks like a sun. That is the cyclone. So, therefore, if that's the cyclone, yep, that is the guy. Nope, that's a uh, brittle. Brittle hollow. That is the main auditorium that's meant to look like the geyser. Then we've got the twins, which one of them's broken. So you can only ever go to the other one. And then this is the sun. But I believe it's you can't open it from that side. So that's the only difficult part about this sun structure. We have to get in from that side. Okay, so we need to wait for this to pass. And then we'll try to go in from this side. And perhaps we can pop over to the sun station. Oops, bring it down. Okay, let's jump out. Let's refill. Oh, well, that's awkward. Uh, there we go. Right, we can't do this because of that stuff. I forgot. I forgot about this. I think if I wanted to be able to do this. We need to get there if we want to get up and go to the sun station. But there's not a way for me to clear this, is there? Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Holy cow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Vitals are low, vitals are not good. Oh! Nice. Sun tower offline as of seven minutes and four seconds ago. All other towers are online. Do I have to beeline here? Wait a minute. You've got to be kidding me. How much time has passed? Would I have to go straight here? Some garbage. I'm just going to look at it for a second. <laughs> Does it actually correspond with it? Do you have to come straight here and get to here first to be able to actually do the sun station? I don't know. Let's see if that number keeps going up. Unless you have to use the system of sending something through the black hole or something through at an earlier time, maybe? I just have a feeling the day's gonna reset soon. Black hole sun, won't you go? Yeah, if it's offline, it's offline. Eight minutes, five seconds ago. So it is going up. So yes, if technically, if we if we got here first, it, wait, but it couldn't wait. But it wouldn't be possible because if you went here first, you wouldn't be able to see it. I'm going into the sun, by the way, and I didn't mean to, or maybe I'm not. Um, if you got to the sun station, if you were able to make it to the sun station like that, Oh, gosh. Let me get back to the ship and let's read everything we saw. But wouldn't we need to use the whole system of going through a black hole, but actually getting there sooner than it actually was? Something like that, maybe? Updates, updates. High Energy Lab, Ash Twin Designs, found. Look, we're having less and less question marks. 
The Ashwin project is still just a rumored event as of right now. The Nomai successfully reproduced temporal anom anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time intervals between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22-minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle these energies. But seven or eight minutes isn't that much time. Possibly. The Nomai successfully... Okay, wait, wait. Reproduce Tempora. We saw that. Hold on. Here we go. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twins Equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not an actual planet. <laughs> each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The tower allows the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other crucial or uh, crucial to the Ash Twin project. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Also, we still need to find out this. So, so maybe at this point, the only way to find out ghost matter could be by going to Bramble. So maybe Bramble holds the key to the ghost matter. I thought it was going to be the high energy lab, but it's not. So I think the best case scenario. So if we're taking this scene by scene, the vessel is something that we still need to identify, which is on Bramble. So a lot of these question marks are going to be Bramble associated. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of dark Bramble. Again, Bramble. Anglerfish fossil, we know how to get to now. So we're going to start next recording with that. We're going to beeline here. We're going to try to see if there's anything that helps us with that anglerfish fossil. Um, all I can kind of assume is that angler fishes are associated with bramble hollow after or um yeah after or bramble i keep wanting to say stars hollow whenever i say <laughs> i think it's brittle hollow it's bramble something um but i'm associating angler fish with bramble because of something else we had seen before uh yes the angler fish fossil inside no my learned how to evade them right learning to evade them Sunless City is more to explore here. Again, probably that anglerfish will help us kind of check that box. We have the Sun Station, which we are close. We just are missing it by that much. Granted, I arrived pretty late, so maybe if we make it right at the second that it comes online, we'll, we'll be able to capture it. The Lake Bed Cave, I still need to try to get to in time. I think I'm missing that by a hair. Then we have this random six location that I haven't even begun to look into. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge, I have not gone back to and explored. Uh, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, I thought that's the Tower of Quantum Trials, is on the Quantum Moon. But the Quantum Knowledge Tower, we're still missing crucial information on Brittle Hollow. So we're going to have to go back there at some point. Sun Station, we talked about. Ruptured Core is blocked out by Ghost Matter. So again, Ghost Matter. Ashwin project, we'll probably just have to explore more. Probe tracking module we know is in Giant's Deep. And Dark Bramble Seed is going to, we'll figure out more about that probably when we go to Dark Bramble. That's right, that's what it's called. So far, we actually are kind of tying up a lot of strings, a lot of loose strings, but there's still a little bit more to know. As far as everything that's happening, I'm slowly starting to understand it more. So we're seeing that they, they desired, so yeah, that's the part I don't, I'm not, I'm still trying to understand how the sun station comes into play. I'm imagining it might have been needed for the Ash Twin project to achieve more energy, which was needed for this thing that they're trying to do to basically do a time change so that you're going through at a different rate than you actually are. Like you're arriving earlier than you actually are. So they're messing with time travel, which we found that out. And outside of that, our main mysteries that still are about are Dark Bramble, the exploration of Dark Bramble, the Anglerfish, and Ghost Matter. Once we find those three, we can pretty much go just about anywhere. And I think at that point, the only limitation will be my own problems of finding things and double checking that I've been in the right locations and, and everything like that. I think at that point we'll have all the tools at our disposal and it's just going to be up to me to piece together the story. I still like uh, there was a major part in this episode which was me finding out that there are corresponding plates that go with certain pools and locations. I don't know 
how that's going to come into play because I think that it is significant being able to see where the plate is supposed to go and placing it like aligned with its corresponding symbol. But for whatever reason, they're not staying after the day. Like the day goes away and so do those. It resets. My biggest fear <laughs> is that we're going to have to place all of those on their corresponding totem or node to be able to do whatever we need to do in this game, which I'm still trying to figure out the objective at this point. I think that's the greatest mystery of all is what is the purpose? I suppose at this point, it's making sure that we don't live 50 first dates for the rest of our lives. So at this point, our objective is to solve the mystery so we can go back to saving our solar system and not repeating the same day over and over again. But I think we are starting to get down to the final couple episodes, I think. I don't know, maybe there's a lot more to it. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really am trying to show you guys absolutely everything uh, from me messing up or me dying, trying to get back to it. I just don't want you guys to feel like you're missing anything or I'm doing anything off screen. Um, I'm really not whatsoever. And so I just want to make that apparent to you guys. I know some of these sections might be a little boring or it's trial and error. We're testing something. We're not seeing a result. So then we go and like we found out today, backtracking is so important. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out like, okay, maybe I need to go back to when I first dropped on here. But yeah, I think we got a lot discovered. Yeah, I, I think we discovered a lot today compared to last episode. And I now have a clear route of where we're going next episode. So anglerfish bramble next episode i'll see you guys then thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough i really really do i still am feeling like a kid in a candy store shop so all right i'll see you guys bye Let's go. Dang, this is, I have to use a lot of my brain for this. What?